We're going to turn now to Capitol Hill, where House Democrats today jump-started their push for new gun control measures following several mass shootings incidents that took place while they were on summer break. Nancy Cordes reports gun control advocates are also making their voices heard. In the next decade, over one million Americans will be shot. Joseph Sacron spoke from experience today. Shot in the neck at a high school football game, he was inspired to become a trauma surgeon. You know, the worst part of my job is having to walk into those waiting rooms and look at those parents and tell them that their child is never coming home. Doctors and gun victims and mayors are blanketing the Capitol as some Republicans signal new openness to gun laws after a summer of deadly mass shootings. I'm hoping that in the next few days, early next week, we'll have a breakthrough. GOP leaders met with the president today to try to nail down what he supports. He's very interested. I think he's learning about this issue. House Democrats aren't waiting. The Judiciary Committee will please come to order. Advancing bills today that would ban high-capacity magazines and confiscate guns from high-risk individuals. They're urging the Senate to join them in passing universal background checks. We won't stop until the job is done. Finding consensus won't be easy. Do you think that it would be reasonable to mandate background checks for all commercial gun sales? We're waiting to see how we can actually achieve something on this issue. But what do you believe? I'm going to wait and assess the proposal that actually could become law. The Republican leader says there's no point in him endorsing any particular policy until he knows what the president would sign. Democrats say they won't believe that Republican leaders are serious about this issue until they start getting specific, Nora, about what they're willing to do themselves. Waiting for those specifics. All right, Nancy Cordes, thank you.